Hey, you just uh, I'm back again just looking at another one of the videos that I ended up playing this one I wasn't playing with my brother this was just some random thing uh, quick play I think my team was actually pretty decent they could hold their own this match uh, at the beginning as usual rush for camo it's interesting they had one guy stay in base which isn't like the worst idea but uh, I just went ahead and burn camo there uh, I said in my other video is if you can burn camo or over Schultz, or make sure that the enemy uh, burn it by killing them before it actually. If it's overshields, before the overshields pop up. Um, if it's camo, just make sure you keep trying to shoot the guy before they can get away with camo and regen their shields. Uh, it's better to, better to burn it than end up losing it and it becoming a problem for the match. So. Uh, I will say, this was like my first match in like matchmaking in a little bit. Mostly I just play firefight now. Because it's, it's easier to make sure I can win. Um, even if my teammates are bad, more than likely it's not going to be bad enough for us to lose a match. I actually got a couple of long range nades in this match. I went after a grenade. You can see me looking for it. I don't know exactly what happened to it. But I could have been mistaken. Maybe there was no grenade there. It looked like it anyway. Could have just been the light. I picked up the carbine here. Carbine is good here because... You can actually get the red reticle across the map. Um, so with the Magnum, you can't do it from uh, car 2 to P1. Uh, P2, excuse me. I'm kind of surprised. I think it was like two or three of them. It looked like three of them all inside of a P2, which is not a good idea. At least one of them should have went up into P3. It would have been much better. I think I should have moved across map a lot sooner than I did, but I did here because I know uh, Camo's going to be coming up here soon. I want to make sure that we got that. So it should be, uh, it's going to be up around the 930 mark. Yeah, that, that was pretty sad. I should easily got that kill. Uh, like I said, aim at the beginning of this match was not good. That being said, at the end of the match, I think my last four kills were all perfect kills. Very convenient spawn there for camo. Just kind of making sure that no one saw me. I think I could have been a little more aggressive with the camo. I played it. I felt a little too passive, but mainly because I, I just didn't want to end up losing it. Very powerful on this map. Pretty much any map. Um, I'm surprised this guy running didn't see me. Because I was like right in his face. Easy. When camo, I feel like you should only, like, you probably shouldn't be shooting too much unless you know that you're going to get the kill. Because you just don't want to give away your position. I don't think I would have got the kill, even if, um, a splinter nade got tossed over there towards the lift, but, yeah, should have thrown that a little lower. That was a pretty good grenade. It's funny, while I was playing the match, I totally forgot that Sword is on this map. Because this is quick play and I'm just used to um, watching tournaments on this map to where it's just pretty much not my magnums and camo. So it's, it's just like, oh yeah, there's a sword. Like, a lot of times people just don't even pick it up. It's kind of surprising. And we got uh, the guy with the new combo. No more off that. It didn't really seem to get abused this match anyway, so it's kind of whatever. Make with the spark charge. <laughs> I actually heard a guy thrusting, and then it's just like, oh look, the sword guy. I do hate how in Halo 5 you can't trade with the sword guy, I think, unless you have like a hammer or another sword. It's really annoying. Because I feel like you should be able to trade with the sword guy. It's just like the sword person's no shields, you beat them down, and um, it, it just doesn't matter. Barely got the camo there. Surprised I didn't get shot when I was running away. The teammate was distracting this guy, but I figured somebody else would have been shooting that man. So, good thing they weren't them. Is that? I think I walked past Sort just now. Huh. I could have used that with camo, that would have been great. I was sitting. I, 
I was sitting up in here in a P2 for way too long. I should have jumped down and probably um, went in a red base way earlier than I did. Because I could see the guys spawning. I was expecting some of them to run towards me, but none of them did. So, I also noticed that my camo was getting pretty low, so I was just like, crap, I better just get across the map and help out however I can. See, this guy that I'm shooting right now, he saw... He had to have seen the splinter nade, and I was just like, well, someone's coming. Which is right. I was so surprised I managed to get that guy. Almost got the guy with the BR there. That was pretty close. This match wasn't too far apart. Like, we're up by 10 kills, and it's kind of... That's a little late in the match now for, like, a comeback. Um, but... You know, if they got camo, like, all they really need was, like, one good camo, they probably, they probably could have came back. This guy. Uh, I don't think he thought I... I don't think he um, knew that I had, saw him on radar. Like, most people aren't paying that much attention, especially if they're at it. They're looking off somewhere else to see if they can get some kills. So, I saw him. I'm surprised, though, that um, he didn't see me or try to throw grenades while I was crouched down, because it looks like he should have been able to easily see me. Yeah, at this point, I think it was nothing but perfect kills for the uh, rest of the match. So. Teammate easy clean up on the kill there, which is nice. Other teammate got camo. The yeah, last camo of the match anyway. That guy was probably like, oh man, where's camo? So. <laughs> it's, <laughs> this is... Can you imagine getting ground pounded by a guy with camo? I thought that was kind of funny. Like, I, I, I said a trillion times, I don't like ground pounds, but I just thought that one was kind of funny. Yeah, this, uh, this match went pretty, it went pretty well. It was a pretty decent match. I was happy about it.